This is also an easy way to keep yourself warm. Fighting. The more you move, the more we get. Into the young bed. On my side? Cool! So use grenade. It's, it's, it's a throw grenade, is it? Steel grenade. Still, oh, got two grenades that time. Excellent. But on the off chance, I will heal myself because I don't want Titus to go down. Because, well, just don't want to go down. A couple of grenades to finish it all off. I remember the first time I reported this. Uh, I was writing down everything the Albed said um, in an attempt to try and translate it, not realizing the Albed Prime was worth it in the game. Or not realizing that when you restarted the game, you had the option of loading up the Albed Primers. Albed scavenging ships. Kid, it's my job. Hey, that hurts. You soldier, brain. Whoa. Okay. Understand. Fed! You said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You you understand me? Alright, I'll work. I 
believe that is one of the set our age primaries there. What's this? Some kind of crane? Rahui! Kad yabi yabunu stran! All right, all right! You don't have to shout! Our age prime level one. So whenever, I believe that's whenever it says A, it's actually a Y, or vice versa. We'll find out next time it says anything. Oh, almost forgot. Well, how, how to use a sphere grid. It's one of those things that looks a lot scarier the first time you see it, and after you've start, started using it, it's a lot more straightforward than it looks. Essentially, you travel down the um, connected paths, depending on how many state levels you've got, um, and anything that's adjacent to where you are, you're able to use. So that will allow you to use the large ability sphere next to it, where had you moved to where the shield was, you'd be able to activate all, um, the ones that are adjacent lines. <coughs> and then that would allow you to have one movement space left afterwards. There's a sphere to grant um, cheer, which I believe increases your attack and defense. So we'll, do, we'll use the one level we've got. So what I was trying to say earlier is because in the tutorial you have three, that's one, four, sorry, that's one, two, three, four. So what we kind of could have done in the tutorial is go to this one here, you'd be able to pick up both cheer, uh, the raise bomb defense, and also raise bomb attack. But in the tutorial it just allowed you to do the one ability sphere which grants a cheer. What I didn't notice then was we'd have no other uh, um, spheres. Can't help but be the show off. And then the other question that we've got is um, if you've played Final Fantasy X before, who's your favourite character and why? I was talking to a friend about the other day and mine. It's either Waka or Kamari, although they've got very different personalities. I like Waka because he it, it, it just doesn't seem afraid to speak his mind. He's very forward, which is the complete opposite of me. I, I kind of envy the personality he has. And at the same time, I like Kamari because I, I share similar traits to him. As if it doesn't need saying, I try and I don't tend to say anything. And that's one of the things I'm trying to do with live streaming is to try to find a balance between them. I want to talk more often. I want to have more confidence in saying things when I want to say them rather than because I need to say them. And that was possibly one of the worst descriptions going, well, but. I'm hoping by live stream I get that balance of being able to talk a little bit more when I need them, when I want to rather than being a requirement. Of but time will tell. So yeah, uh, Uh, later on you gain the ability to steal, sp extract specific um, attributes here. <clears throat> and 
also by looting things you gain XP. You are gaining spheres. Fortunately, at the moment, we're not getting any XP from fights. Which isn't great. I always like having XP from fights. So now that we've activated that, let's swim back along this corridor. And let's fight the Dross. Throw a grenade, attack. And then we throw a grenade. <coughs> And now it explains about, I believe, it is standby. Which is what Titus will do is cheer, raise it on the defense stats. So, wait while we're covering HP. But they didn't attack us, so that's kind of irrelevant. Oh, that Titus is taking a bit of damage. Okay. So I have no grenades, so let's steal them. Hopefully Titus goes next. Yeah, so I can get back attack damage. He's off to turn around to attack us now. Because I stole some grenades. Let's use them. More grenades. An attack. Hoping I can force him to flee again. I don't know if that's a force him to flee or just when it gets around to his turn, he flees. But item, potion, potion onto Riku. No, oh, onto question mark, question mark, question mark. And then we'll stand by. Come back around, doesn't quite give me a magic. So, attack for back attack. What we'll do then is steal again because we've only got the one grenade. Didn't steal anything that time. That's not what we wanted. But we will, however, overdrive. For a decent chunk of damage. I am happy that I get to play this again, and there's no green screens this time. Here you've got some AP at time. So there it is. Get increased defence a little bit. So our defence has gone now to 11. Later on you'll get more... Um, I say more, you'll get uh, nodes that increase high, uh, more than the ones and that are happening at the moment. I believe the maximum goes up to is plus four. It's quite remarkable that this technology has been sat at the bottom of the sea for. didn't say how long for, I don't think, but um, it's been sat at the bottom of the sea for a hell of a long time. With a flick of about three or four buttons, has started working again. Want to go back down a bit more? Or want to be going back up now? Looks like we're still going down.
Futra Ersche. Rada Nux, von der Nähe. Ruf, ruf du, zum Gedien. Ue, Wichetta. Hey, hey, I helped out, didn't I? He's in too fast and tries to choke himself. Anyway, we're out bed. Can't you tell? Wait, you're not an out bed hater, are you? I don't even know what an out bed is. Where are you from? Xanarkin. I'm a blitz ball player, <clears throat> star player of the Xanarkin Abes. Did you hit your head or something? Um, you guys hit me? Oh, right. Do you remember anything before that? So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Did I... say something funny? You were near Sin. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. You'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when Sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah, there is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? Wha wha what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkand. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! You said... You play Blitzball? Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Uh... Huh. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. 
You'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Oh. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh-huh. Hm. So your follow-up question to that would be, where would you reckon they be saying them from? My Xanarkand? Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place. That I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! Eponic! Eponic! 